Buddy Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89, and today's manga Nerdigan Live reaction video is going to be for Sonobisuke Dal Wa uh, Koyosuru, aka My Dress of Darling, chapters 69 through 70. So before I get into this recap and live reaction, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because, of course, this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored, and I'm just on a non stop high speed struggle train heading into chaos and mm, getting faster by the second. We're talking hyper speed, pan uh, panic attack levels of struggle up. Yeah, we can barely afford the roof over our head right now. It is that bad. Now it's getting to the point we might be in a medical uh, panic attack level of struggle. Oh, God, it's really goddamn bad. But if you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive and kicking, feel free to hit up my Cash Up and PayPal. Those links are in the description box below. So, last time I covered this manga, Marin got the M cam. And she became... Um, freaking obsessed with this damn camera and you know what Kojo fell in love with this camera he did let's be real and we got to see Amade Amade is definitely one of my favorite characters in this manga and um poor Amade got stuck because uh um Amade is cosplaying and uh yeah I got a line but luckily you know Marin and then uh, met up and Gojo is meeting up with uh, uh, with Akira, if I remember the name correctly. Yes, Akira. So, woo, this is going to be very interesting. Let's get to chapter 69 first to see what's in store for us today. Here we go. Wow, I saw the anime for that. It, it, this is who I was talking about earlier. My friend uh, Maya-chan. Um, nice to meet you, Miyako. Um, nice to meet you, Miyako, here. Yeah. Uh, what's up? Uh, double clutches. Uh, Rin, um, Rinokyu. There we go. Oh, my God. This is hot. Uh, the manga started when I was in grade school, but you know about it? I'm so happy modern high schoolers know what it is. Of course I, I of course I do. I read the manga and saw both the anime and the movie. I'm a hu I was a huge fan of, uh, Rindo Kyo's, uh, Nakarami. Wait, Naruka, oh my god, I fucked this up, I'm sorry. I was a huge fan of, uh, Rindo Kyo's, uh, Narukami. There it is. I love how every ca character in Double, um, Clutch was both so cool and at the same time made me so horny. Woo! So thirsty! What is with these women up in manga being thirsty? But short and sports manga have nothing perverted about them at all. You take that back! You take that back, my dude. You take that back, Amani. I'm sorry. A girl, Amani. Because I do not want to get shit in my comment section. Amani, you need to take that back. Nah, there is perverted things in sports series. There are. You just need to know where to find them. <laughs> I cover a lot. I've read and I cover a lot of sports series, okay? Kitamaru Zumo is definitely one of them. Um, when I say blue lock, it's a little pervy. Oh, yes. Yes, it does. Case in point, Shidao. <laughs> Shidao is a perv. He is a perv, my Shidao is. So, don't give me shit about show sports vlog. I have nothing perverted about them. Stop. That overwhelmingly hot face. It's just so chiseled. Where's the lie? Uh, this is all hand... That is all hand drawn? What? I do not know why I am surprised by this because I watch a lot of drag shows. I watch Dragula. I watch my drag race. I, I know I have many guilty pleasures. I have watched Face Off. I have watched Skin Wars. I, 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 why am I surprised? Oh, oh, and I watched Painted with Raven. Do Painted with Raven is everything. Oh my God, I love that show. Let me have my guilty pleasures, okay? 
And oh, in terms of Drag Race, I watch all of them. I, I love my guilty pleasures. Let me have them, please. I watch it for the art. And I stay for the drama. <laughs> but seriously, I'm like, why am I not? I should not be surprised. I should not be surprised that it's hand-drawn. But damn, that's good. If that is all hand-drawn, that is good makeup. Damn, that is good. I actually have a really plain face underneath this, so I put on a whole ton of makeup. Um, every time I take it off, nobody can tell I was the same girl from before. Same with me. <laughs> well, no shit, Amani. It's so much fun when your face completely changes. <laughs> I know, right? Isn't the gender the actual complete change? Remember, these two are ten. I know they're costly, but. But normies will say they are, are certain, um, nah. No, I think the, the, the community, I think the drag community would say they, they'd be cosplaying. But normies would be saying they do in drag. But yes. Miyaka-san, can I take some pictures? Sure thing. I will too. Here I go. God. And yes, the one thing I have learned from this, if I, if, you want to do male cosplay, you women, especially you are big rested. There are things to hold them suckers down. You don't need to like uh, bind. Yeah, she's a tall hottie. Thank you so much. No problem at all. All right, um, Suzuka-san, you're uh, crouching to take the picture. Why wouldn't she? Oh yeah, it's your first time with a single lens camera. Then this is what happens when I take it from my eye level. Yes, very cool. But if I take it at a lower angle, why is it completely? Woman, are you for real? Why is it completely different? She's doing the same pose, but her whole body changes since her uh, face becomes smaller and her legs much longer. Well, no shit. Huh? Speaking of which, um, back during the extreme meetup, Shinju, uh, Shinju Chan was crouching while taking those pictures. Didn't know. Um. Uh, knew and took them uh, took them that way. Amani comes the opposite situation. I took his pictures from a higher angle because I wanted a cuter shot. For you normies in terms of photography, I'm not the best at photography, but I know basic shit. Obviously, this is some good lessons for you. I like this manga. This is why I like this manga so much. Cause you learn shit. Oh, fuck. This is why I like manga. Period. You learn. You're learning stuff. You, this manga teaching the children. So a mere angle uh, change can change a lot. Yes, that's the best part. Just little things in terms of angles. You can change a whole lot in the shot. Um, like little things, even in facial expressions. Uh, like a movement in the eye. Um, a movement in the eye. Like a little change in the mouth. Just like a slight things can change, make the shot change and make it more interesting. Yeah. Um, uh, Amani Khan, um, Marichon, if you don't mind, then today, why don't we, ooh, let's get to chapter 70 and find out what it is. Why don't we what? Here we go. Ooh, we got some, we got some nice posing up in here. Dude, these outfits are hot. Woo, these outfits are hot. We got some nice color up in here. You ain't catching me doing them color contacts, by the way. Woo, this is hot. This photo shoot is hot, hot, hot. Woo. Would I be wearing this? Well, wait till my tummy gets a little flatter, and then you, and then I could do a lingerie photo shoot like that. I'm jealous. So I wish my ass would look that good. My ass will never. My ass is even when I was thinner. My ass has always been flat. I wish I could have an ass like that. I'm jelly. That outfit's so cute. I know that's Marin's outfit, dude. This lingerie is hot. 
Oh, now we're back to we're back to the Gojo stuff. I'm really I'm really sorry. I saw your name and photo and thought you were. Oh, I thought you were a man. Excuse me. I mean I mean about the um the same mistake. Sorry. Oh my God! They were... <laughs> she thought Gojo was a woman. Yeah, the anime has started already airing, and the anime is getting the ooh la la sensation. I have heard nothing but good things about the anime adaptation. Everyone is living for it and becoming obsessed. I'm very happy for it. Good, good, good for the good for you, um, my dress up girl. Um, good for you. Um, my God, why can't I talk right now? I'm like really fucking up. Good for you, my dress up darling. You deserve the world. You do. But anyways, let's get to this now. But he used a or in the messages as if it's normal. Ah, I'm wearing a, sa a Samu in a coat. But a lot of girls use or online. Uh, Wakana fo uh, found that difficult to uh, understand. Usami-san uses uh, Watashi and uh, Rizukian used a uh, um. Boku, too. So anybody can use any first-person pronoun regardless of gender. Oh my god, are you freaking for real? Are we... We really go in this route today, aren't we? This is a pronoun chapter! Kitty, we are really doing this today. I never thought I'd see the day that I, we would be getting a pronoun, a pronoun slash gender chapter. Well, no, gender chapter I've seen before. I've seen gender ident identity chapters, oh, excuse me, gender identity chapters in this manga and in Blue Period. So that, I think I've seen, no, and I've seen it in UQ Holder as well. And in, um, and kobe -san. So like the gender shit, not, that, that's not, that's not crazy. But this is a first for me in terms of the pronouns. All right. Reiki's? We getting a pronoun lesson today, Keys! Hey, uh, uh, yes? So where does Wakana come from? Your favorite character? No, it's my real name. So you use your real, you, uh, so you use your real name. It's a nice one. I use my real name too, Akira. I see. Um, yes, there's girls named Akira too, by the way. Oh, thank God this whole chapter is not going to be about pronouns. Thank God. Yep. Uh, by the way, Akira-san, about the co uh, cosplay with the hood that you made. What character were you uh, using um, as a reference? I tried looking it up, but I couldn't tell. There was no specific character. Huh? There are different kinds of cosplay. Y Yay! We're getting this today. Good. This is what I was hoping to see. The costumes which anime and manga characters wear, copyright cosplay, specific uniform costumes, work cosplay, and then... Designs for original characters or items which you created on your own. My own unique perspective, aka original cosplay. I can decide on anything on my own. So that's what it is. I had no idea. That's pretty bomb. That's awesome. I think I've seen original cosplays before. I'm more so used to seeing like the uniform and the, um, in the manga anime cosplays. But if you guys have original cosplays, I want to see them. I want to see some of your original cosplays. Put them, in, put them in the comment section, or um, if you send them to me on Twitter, I'll retweet them. Do you like Japanese designs, then? Uh, yeah, I like the men's designs, personally. So then, I'm happy you're complimenting me, but cosplay isn't very impressive. Plus, Oriental-style Japanese katanas are commonplace, and it gives off a real generic feel. There's not a single sense um, of originality in that. What? I'm sorry. Ooh! I'm sorry, I realized what I was about to say was really rude I, I, um, as I was saying it. But but even though it may be rude, I was deeply moved by your cosplay and I wanted to ask you some questions about it. It really is that important to me. When I said, but even though it may be rude, I didn't mean that way. Um, mean that way. Uh, mean it, oh my god, I didn't mean it that way. I meant more, um, like, I'm not very knowledgeable in this field and I don't have the criteria to judge what you're saying. I absolutely don't. <laughs> it's fine. Thanks, Bacana. I've been thinking about this for a while, but I think I've seen a Kira some uh, Kira-san somewhere before, dude. I I'm gonna con before I say it, continue. I got 
gotta say, Akira's jacket is fierce. I want this jacket. I want it bad. Oh, God, I love this jacket so much. I want it, I want it, I want it. But this is my first time meeting her. Anyway, you wanted to ask about uh, phone cosplay, right? I can tell I, I can tell you if it's something I know about. Thank you so much. I also have some um, opinions which I wasn't able to express. Huh? You sent me quite a lot already, right? Do you still have some? Oh my god! Yes, I wanted to meet you personally because despite all the messages, uh, you said you would look at all the finer details. Oh god. Uh, excuse me. Gotcha, come. Uh, where are you at? I'm in the park where uh, we went with the Menasan last time. I'm just close uh, close by, lol. Can Suzaku-san and I head over? Just a minute, please. Akira-san, I have a friend with me today, and she wants to come over here. The girl you uh, girl you make cosplays for? So this is a meetup. Uh, so this is a meetup? No problem. Uh, sounds good. Yay, but I found you already. Right behind you, uh, Gojo-kun. Oh! So, like, listen, I got invited to an after party by Suzaku-san's friend. Uh, she said all my friends can join. After party? A cosplay after party is a party for, uh, after a cosplay event or photo shoot is over. Eating meals and having fun. Have I been to an after party? Well, I've been to, I've been to after parties after, um... After conventions, those are fun, actually. Amani-san went to change. Huh? A girl? That's Akira-san. So what? <laughs> so it wasn't a guy? You're kidding. I thought she was a man this whole time, too. Akira-san. Hello there. My name's Marin. Hi. Um, Aki-chan? So this is your fr friend, Suzuka-san? Oh, what a total coincidence. I had no idea this stuff actually happens. Uh, Yeah. This is Gojo-kan. Uh, nice to meet you. My, um, ah, uh, eh, your name is Gojo Wakana. I thought he was a girl since she called him, uh, Wakana-kan, but it was a boy. And if he's Marichan's friend, then... Wow, the high school boys! Stay healthy if you can! Oh my god! <laughs> what in? What are you thinking? She think it, Dude! I thought my mind was corrupted! Stay healthy if you can. My name is Suzuka. Nice to meet you. Wait, no, um, Mia-chan, big news. This is my first after party. So exciting. Oh, no, Kira's like, oh, shit, you gotta be shitting me. Okay, so thank God. Thank God for this. Thank God. The translators, you are amazing for this. So Japanese pronouns usually have gender and personality implications in them. So, for example, or is generally used by more masculine men. But as Akira pointed out, some women also use or when referring to themselves, especially online. Well, we're getting a good gender pronoun lesson. This is very, this is, I'm, I'm not going to lie. This is actually pretty kind of important because you have no idea how toxic the Western, especially the Western anime fandom is. That cesspool is horrible. And certain fandoms, like the, uh, certain, uh, sex of the, um, the One Piece manga fandom and the Boku no Hero Academia manga fandom are, are really goddamn toxic cesspools, too. So this is very important. Uh, likewise, Watashi is, um, considered neutral, but it is generally associated with women. Uh, while, um, Boku, uh, Boku is, uh, used mostly by soft-spoken men and conventionally tomboys. Yes, people, tomboys still exist, just like metrosexuals. Metrosexuals, are, I was, before he died, I was with one for 12 years, and my friends thought he was gay. As Gojo mentioned, these distinctions still exist in modern Japan, but the lines are a lot more blurred now due to general modernization. That's sad! That's sad! Japan, this is sad that this is happening to you, too. Stop the tomboy and metrosexual erasure. Stop it. Stop the erasure. Stop it. Because we tomboys, because I, I, was, I was a tomboy back when I was a young one. Oh, God, I'm only 32 and I'm saying this. Why am I Back when I was a teenager, I was a huge tomboy. I'm, so, I'm somewhat of a tomboy now, too, but not as much as I, I was um, compared to when I was uh, a teenager. And metros are still a thing. They are. Stop saying otherwise. I'm getting very, and there's also the man-hating feminists that aren't lesbians. They're just man-hating feminists. 
They like soy boys, yes, but they're still man-hating feminists. <laughs> they're not lesbians. God damn, I really hate this general modernization. I freaking hate it. I hate it so much. Everybody is different. They don't fit in your box. They don't fit in a fucking box, a freaking label. Everybody is goddamn different. Really makes me mad. It makes me mad. So I'm glad that we got a little, you know what? The more I'm thinking about it, I'm glad we got this little lesson on pronouns. Thank God. Because now, uh, now you can use this shit when you have to deal with the toxic assholes in the, in the, uh, specific, oh my God, we're gonna, oh my God, we're gonna have to deal with these fuckers in the, um, when we get to Amani's content. Oh my God, we're gonna have to deal with them. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I am not looking forward to this. I am not looking forward to this. But anyways. I'm very curious what you guys thought of these chapters. I really do like this a lot. I'm, I'm just thinking how I'm not looking forward to uh, when this, when this chapter gets adapted, I am really not looking forward to it. I'm not, I, I know that it's going to be some bullshit. There's going to be a lot of toxic idiots come going in and trying to cancel Gojo. I fucking know it. I know it for a fact, and it's going to piss me off seeing it. <sighs> I'm just done with this bullshit. I'm done with this stupidity. But I hope um, what the little note at the end of the chapter really um, gave you a better idea of what's going down. And I'm going to say this about this manga in general. This ma and I've been saying it since I, you know, started covering it. And even during my uh, binge read of it, this manga gives you a lot of good tips. Like whether it is on, you know, design, co uh, just cosplay in general, um, makeup. Oh, you get some really good makeup tips. And now with photography, that's what this arc has really been doing is giving you some really good photography um, lessons. And now um, we're going to get um, some good stuff with props too, which I can't wait to see. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive and kicking so I can keep bringing you more uh, my Dress Up Darling content, there's a few ways you could do that. Donate to my Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off my Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.